looking at the outside of this place, you know, the wooden fence, the outhouse, and the small cottage near a train line, it's not too obvious that something has gone wrong here. And you would be pretty, you know, it's quite possible to just keep walking past this place and not bother to investigate. But here's one reason why you should. If we walk around to the side of the, of the house here, we can actually see some of the tiles in the roof have been moved aside and there's smoke coming out the side here. If we go around a little bit further, you can get a better look at it. And really the mood starts to change. It's not until we actually go inside the property that we see exactly what's happened here. If I jump into first person mode and just slowly walk through, we open the door and we get revealed what's happened. Now, clearly a meteor has come through the ceiling here and landed right in the middle of the house. In doing that, it has taken out, I think, three people. And that is a bit of a stretch of a guess, given the state of this one in particular. I can't really tell if those legs are theirs. I'm guessing they are. This person is pretty clearly intact. This person is also pretty clearly intact, but I don't know what's happened to you. You're kind of all over the place. Looking around a bit further, we can see some, you know, just some typical things that you would find in a house. You know, there's random items that you can find, kitchenware and things like that. I wonder why it is that this meteor struck at exactly the right moment. And given that there is this kind of steam coming up from the ground here, is it possible that this was a recent hit? If we go outside the house, again, there's not too much to talk about. There's some little rackets, I guess, and things put up along the sides of the house. And if we go along to the back, there's actually nothing particularly special about the outhouse. There's nothing in there or anything like that. You can then inspect the structure and it turns into a point of interest if I get into the right zone. And we now refer to it as the Meteor House. If we read the description, house seems to have been struck by something, a meteor perhaps. Well, that is exactly what's happened. Just looking at the inside state of things. Yeah, I would probably hedge my bets that was a meteor. One thing to say though, you can't actually see the meteor. I don't think there's actually anything in the bottom there. So I wonder what happened to it. Otherwise, there's nothing too special in here apart from just obviously blood everywhere.